Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Avram Glazer plans to attend Manchester United's Carabao Cup final against Newcastle. Joel and Avram Glazer are reluctant to sell Manchester United. There's no assurances that the Glazers are going anywhere. We've got to get the Glazers out of the football club because they've been a massive issue at the club for such a long time. And that explains why for such a long time United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. The Glazers have owned Manchester United for 18 years now. They purchased the club for £790 million back in 2005. The Glazers will not sell Man United for less than £6 billion. <clears throat> Qatar are interested in buying the club. Sir Jim Ratcliffe has been interested in buying Man United for quite some time. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is Britain's richest man, is the chairman of Ineos. And of course, he's a Manchester United fan. But anyway... Manchester United do play Newcastle tomorrow at Wembley in the Carabao Cup final. Eric Ten Hag has said that Marcus Rashford is a doubt. You know, he'll be a big miss. Rashford's been sensational this season. This has been his best season as a United player. You know, Rashford did play in the second leg against Barcelona, didn't score in that one. He got two goals against Leicester last weekend. Rashford's got 24 goals in all competitions this season. He scored in the first leg against Barcelona at the Nou Camp. But he should have had more than one goal in that game because he had a few shots. <laughs> the other week, Ten Hag said that Rashford is one of the best in Europe. Ericsson, of course, he's out until April or early May with an ankle injury. Martial's still injured. He's been hampered with injuries this season. And Van der Beek's out for the rest of the season. But he won't start anyway because he's a squad player. Building up to this game against Newcastle, Eric Ten Hag has said... Newcastle are annoying to play. But he did say when we got to the final, uh, winning against Newcastle will be tough. Right, okay when, it's when it's ready. When it's ready. When it's ready. Uh, Man United are coming into this game on the back of a 2-1 win against Barcelona at Old Trafford in the Europa League round of 32 second leg. It was 4-3 on aggregate. So Man United are in the last 16 of the Europa League. They'll be playing Real Betis. After the 2-1 win against Barcelona, Eric Ten Hag said it's his biggest win at United. Newcastle are enduring a very good season to their standards. They are like fifth in the Premier League. Uh, they've only lost two games in the league this season, but they have drawn a lot of games. Newcastle lost the last league game to Liverpool 2-0. If Newcastle were to get a top four finish this season, that would be remarkable for them. That would mean they'd get Champions League qualification for next season and they'd generate money. And with that money, they can invest. You know, the players Newcastle have got, 
They've got the likes of Ryan Fraser, who they signed from Bournemouth. Could play tomorrow. Callum Wilson. Uh, Newcastle also got him from Bournemouth. Miguel Almiron, I can see him playing tomorrow because he's enjoyed a very good season at Newcastle. Alexander Isaac, Newcastle got him from Real Sociedad. Anthony Gordon, he seemed to have done well. Newcastle got him from Everton. Jacob Murphy, Elliot Anderson. Matt Ritchie, Alan St. Maximin, he's probably the best player Newcastle have got. And I think he'll be playing tomorrow. Harrison Ashby, Newcastle signed him from West Ham. Bruno Gomares, he's made an impact. I think he'll be in contention to play tomorrow. Jamal Lasalle, Sean Lonstaff, he's one of Newcastle's first choice midfielders. Uh, Matty Lonstaff, he's brothers with Sean Lonstaff. At one point, he was out on loan with Aberdeen. <laughs> Paul Dummett. Kieran Trippy, I think he'll play tomorrow. He's done well at Newcastle. Newcastle got him from Atletico Madrid. Daniel Byrne, he's the defender. Newcastle got him from Brighton. I think he could play tomorrow. Seven Botman, Newcastle, I think, got him from Lille. Emil Kraft. Um, he's injured at the moment, wouldn't start anyway because he's not first choice. Joe Linton, um, I think he's just come back from injury. Matt Target, Newcastle signed him from Aston Villa. You know, he's been out with injury. Uh, Nick Pope is suspended for the game tomorrow. Uh, for what he did in Newcastle's game against Liverpool. Newcastle got Nick Pope from Burnley. Um, I presume Carrius will be in goal tomorrow. They've got, obviously, Martin Dubravka. Um, he was on loan at Man United, but don't forget, his loan at Man United got terminated. So there are a lot of the players Newcastle do have. They've lost players, uh, don't forget Newcastle lost Carl Darlow, he went out on loan, you know he was Newcastle's keeper. They loaned Chris Wood out to Nottingham Forest, they let John Joe Shelby go, uh, they lost Kieran Clark. So yeah. You know, since the Saudi Arabians taken over Newcastle, they've become one of the richest clubs in the world. Newcastle seems to have improved since the Saudi Arabians taken over. Um, obviously, before Newcastle had Mike Ashley as their owner, he was Newcastle's owner for around thirteen years. And he got heavily criticised by Newcastle fans. And Newcastle fans were relieved when Mike Ashley sold the club. <laughs> you know, Eddie Howe, he's done a really good job at Newcastle. You know, he's the Newcastle manager. Eddie Howe has been the Newcastle manager since November 2021. When he got officially appointed in as the Newcastle manager, he signed a two and a half year deal, so he was under contract to Newcastle till 2024. But last year, Eddie Howe signed a long term contract at Newcastle. Before Eddie Howe, 
Newcastle had Steve Bruce. And at one point they had Rafa Benitez. Um, he ended up resigning, didn't he? Because he wasn't getting backed by the Newcastle board. But yeah, Newcastle have the right man in Eddie Howe. Um, I thought Eddie Howe was good when he was at Bournemouth. He was at Bournemouth for several years. Don't forget he got Bournemouth promotion to the Premier League. At one point he had a spell with Burnley. But this final is going to mean a lot to Newcastle. You know, it's their first Wembley final since 1999. Man United played Newcastle in the FA Cup final back in 1999. Newcastle have not won a trophy since the 50s. Newcastle, as you all know, got past Southampton in the semi-final to get to the final of the Carabao Cup. Man United beat Forest in the semi-final to get to the final. But Man United looking to end the trophy drought. Man United have not won a trophy since 2017. Eric Ten Hag wants a trophy. He's made that clear. You know, Man United can win the quadruple this season. You know, can win the Carabao Cup tomorrow. Can win the Europa League. We're in the last 16 of that. Can win the FA Cup. We're in the fifth round of that. And we can still win the Premier League because we are in the title race. Arsenal did win today, by the way, against Leicester 1-0. So now they are eight points in front of Man United. That was Arsenal's game in hand. But Eric Ten Hag said after the 3-0 win against Leicester last week that he's not thinking about the title race. But you can see the progress Ten Hag has made at Man United. So anyway guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always and take care. God bless. See you all again soon.